Physicists estimate that the universe originated more or less 13.7 billion years in the past through a mysterious phenomenon typically referred to as the Big Bang. Although this idea has become a central pillar of modern cosmology, the exact cause or initiating mechanism behind this significant event remains one of the most enduring enigmas in science. Over many years, scientists have thoroughly studied the universe's beginnings and its subsequent evolution. The Big Bang Theory has long stood as the main explanation for how the universe came into existence, strengthened by extensive observational evidence and robust theoretical frameworks. Contributions from researchers across the globe have reinforced this model, cementing its position as a foundational idea in astrophysics. According to this model, a perplexing form of energy known as dark energy believed to surpass all visible matter in the universe in abundance has been responsible for the universe's continued expansion since its inception. Dark energy is thought to act as a repelling force that counteracts gravity, accelerating the universe's growth. However, as scientific methods and observational technologies have progressed, new findings have begun to challenge long-standing assumptions that once seemed definitive. What was previously considered settled knowledge now appears more complex and less certain. One notable challenge to the Big Bang theory has come from theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, who recently expressed doubts following remarkable data collected by the James Webb Space Telescope JWST. This advanced telescope has identified more than 750 previously unknown galaxies that differ significantly from the characteristics predicted by prevailing theories. These surprising discoveries have led scientists to reconsider key ideas about how the universe was formed and how it has evolved over time. While the images captured by JWST are visually stunning, their importance lies in the profound scientific questions they raise. Researchers were particularly surprised to find that these newly discovered galaxies exhibit properties inconsistent with current models of early cosmic development. Scientists had expected to find young, chaotic galaxies formed by frequent collisions in the turbulent early universe. JWST, however, revealed smaller, older, and unusually smooth galaxies. These findings stand in stark contrast to what the Big Bang model had forecasted. As a result, some cosmologists have described this moment as a crisis point necessitating a re-evaluation of established beliefs. Historically, the Big Bang theory posits that the universe emerged from a singularity a point of infinite density and temperature where all matter and energy were compacted into an extremely small space. From this singularity, space and time began and the universe started to expand. The inflationary model, a refinement of the original theory, suggests that the universe underwent a brief yet extraordinary growth faster than the speed of light shortly after the Big Bang. This rapid inflation smoothed out early irregularities and laid the foundation for the large-scale structure of the cosmos. As the universe expanded and cooled, essential particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons formed. Within minutes, a process known as nucleosynthesis produced the lightest elements, setting the stage for the eventual formation of atoms, stars, and galaxies. Despite this comprehensive theoretical framework, the JWST's observations diverge sharply. Instead of chaotic early-stage galaxies, the telescope has recorded ancient galaxies with defined spiral and disk-like shapes similar to those seen in the modern universe. These well-organized structures directly contradict the idea that early galaxies evolved largely through violent mergers. If these galaxies had not undergone substantial collisions, it becomes difficult to understand how such small systems could have developed into the large galaxies observed today. Additionally, the maturity and number of these galaxies challenge the current timeline for how long galaxy formation was believed to take under the Big Bang framework. Another puzzling result from JWST involves the apparent size of distant galaxies. Observations show these galaxies to be two to three times smaller than those previously detected by the Hubble Space Telescope, contradicting theoretical expectations. 
According to the prevailing model, galaxies observed at extreme distances meaning we see them as they existed in the early universe should appear larger because of the denser, more compressed nature of space at that time, yet the opposite has been found. These galaxies appear smaller and more refined, which conflicts with conventional understandings of cosmic expansion. The structural smoothness of these galaxies also raises critical questions. Based on the Big Bang theory, early galaxies were expected to be clumpy and irregular due to frequent gravitational interactions and mergers typical of the young universe. However, the galaxies observed by JWST are remarkably smooth and well-formed, challenging the widely accepted narrative of galaxy evolution. This finding undermines the assumption that galaxies formed hierarchically where smaller ones gradually merge to form larger structures. The new evidence suggests that galaxies may have formed through different mechanisms or evolved much faster than previously assumed. These developments also cast doubt on one of the most vital tools in cosmology, the concept of redshift. Redshift refers to the stretching of light from distant galaxies toward the red end of the spectrum due to the expansion of the universe. This shift has been used extensively to estimate the age and distance of celestial objects. JWST, using its advanced infrared filters, analyzes this redshift to determine the properties of ancient galaxies.